welcome back to the ninth gym program and today we're doing some series 10 stuff so um as you guys know uh from that last post that i made on the community tab uh i haven't had week uh or i haven't had internet for a week um so that's been kind of rough and really really unfortunate because you know i missed um the uploads from all of this crazy series 10 stuff you know every every other poketuber got to beat me to it um, which is really unfortunate but it is what it is um we're still doing it we're doing it now um so it's all good so anyway series 10 stuff uh no dynamax one restricted interesting format uh it's kind of like a a very you know a past format um you know an old head format with no dynamax crazy right um so no dynamax what does that really mean for this game well first off fake out is going to be a huge piece of um you know it's going to be a huge piece things like wide guard quick guard uh, tailwind a lot of things are very meaningful without having our dynamax we can't have the easiest form of speed control possible with max airstream so um a lot of pokemon are going to be a little bit like less played you know phasing out of the meta and a lot of play uh, and a lot of pokemon are going to come back into the meta which is pretty cool so um you know i'm gonna i'm starting starting this off uh all this week i was theorying some stuff uh for the game you know i haven't really been playing too much recently in series eight and nine or, or in series nine i got kind of bored it was like just a rehash of series seven and i was like well i'll take a little break from now um but now we're getting back into it and i think series 10 is going to be really fun so um what did i start with so theorying out uh my first thought was top moth i wanted to play top moth again because we still have just lando in the meta that is you know abusing rock slide we still have a couple other pokemon that's abusing rock slide uh, but other than that volcarona has a really good position in the meta it has a good uh, a good matchup i'd say with xerneas it has a very good matchup with uh or maybe not like the best matchup with xerneas but it has a matchup with xerneas that is playable it has a good matchup with zacian it has a good matchup with a lot of these weird um restricted pokemon things like the uh, zamazenta that we've been seeing a couple of um it has a good matchup against ice rider calyrex um bunch of good things so top moth was kind of where i started but then i was like well what else uses you know him on top as a really good synergy and i just thought ogre Ty uh kyogre top ogre so we're using a dual top team with like top moth top top ogre top ogre yeah if i could talk top moth top ogre very cool um so that's kind of the idea of the team so why does him on top really what does him on top provide that really makes me want to play this um these strategies well um, first off, it has wide guard for Volcarona. Like we were saying, you know, keeping Volcarona away from that rock slide is a really, really big deal. So wide guard is really good. But wide guard also helps our, our things like Regilecki with earthquakes and stuff like that. So wide guard is just a good um, attack in the meta right now. You know, things like Celesteela, even people protecting Swampert um, for the wide guard is a big deal. Wide guard is very solid in this format. Now, we also have things like Quick Guard that's going to protect our Kyogre from Rillaboom's Grassy Glide. So that's going to be a really big deal. And we've seen already a Series 10 tournament um, last week. I don't know how many players exactly were in it, but um, Rillaboom was on nearly every team in top cut, 7 out of 8. So if we're going to be playing a Kyogre team, I think Quick Guard is maybe not an, es maybe not an essential, but something you definitely want to grab for your team. So I thought, you know, what else really gets, what really gets Quick Guard, right? um him on top was the answer because it has wide guard as fake and fake out as well so that's pretty cool now instead of playing you know the your intimidate um plus eject button or something like that kind of strategy we want technician life orb doing a lot of damage here with mock punch as well as fake out now why kyogre uh, or top ogre was really good back in the day was um you would do a really really strong wide, uh, water spout and then hip on top would just come at you with a mock punch as well so that was a really really big deal before um typically kyogre would be a choice scarf um kind of thing instead of mystic water but i really really value that protect very highly because i don't want to get fake out doubled turn one into the kyogre and then we lose that and then we go into volcarona and need an additional turn um to go for our quiver dance and it just doesn't really make sense to me um i mean obviously choice scarf is insane uh, nine out of ten kyogres you see right now are probably going to be having the choice scarf maybe nine, nine out of ten is probably an exaggeration it's probably about 50 percent um, but Mystic Water, I just really value that Protect. I, I really wanted to go for that Protect. Um, I want Water Spout and Origin Pulse, dual water attacks. Now, this could be Scald. I've been, you know, thinking that should probably be Scald, just so we can, you know, just single out a guy. Um, but I, I do, I keep running into problems, you know. Of course, being a, you know, more so defensive uh, Kyogre, we are taking a lot of damage from a lot of things still. Um, not going Choice Scarf just right off the bat. Water Spout just rush them. Uh, might be a problem with uh, water spout not doing much damage you know you get into a late game scenario you get sucker punch you get mock punch you get fake out 
um, you get grassy glided you get all these attacks um, hitting into you and then your water spots only do one damage and then you only have things like ice beam thunder as workarounds for that so I wanted origin pulse I know the 85 accuracy sucks it is what it is could go wide lens but water spout doesn't even get affected by that and that's the main thing we're going for with the kyogre so that's kind of why i went for that um i was making a couple rough flow charts in my head for the kyogre for the uh, top ogre team and mystic water protect just made more sense on my team um in my head so you know but like i said i have not tested yet i have not had internet for a week i haven't tested this team whatsoever I actually just put together the the rest of these the remnants of the team the regilecki rillaboom um about five minutes ago uh so yeah, it's kind of what we're working with. So, Top Ogre, that's what Top Ogre does. Um, top Moth, we go ahead and Quiver Dance. We have Fake Out to let that go pretty swimmingly. We protect turn one if we're expecting the Fake Out and then maybe switch the Hit on top into Rillaboom so we have Fake Out for the next turn to make that go more swimmingly the next turn as well. Incineroar, kinda, I kind of do want it on the team, but I didn't really want to bring Volcarona and Incineroar to the same game uh, just because, you know, threats like Kyogre and stuff we wouldn't even really be able to deal with. And I would be locked into bringing Hitmontop, Volcarona, Incineroar, Rillaboom, and then I wouldn't be able to bring my Restricted, and I want to bring Kyogre 100% of the time. So that's kind of why we didn't bring Incineroar. We put in Lando, um, the Regilecki, the Rillaboom. It just made sense in my head. So that's kind of where we're at on the team. That's the overview of the team. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's get into the game. So I'm, I'm pretty eager to play some games with this team because I think the team is pretty promising. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not rewriting, um, you know, any books by bringing Top Ogre or Top Moth. Uh, that was pretty common um, in the past, you know, in non-Dynamax formats like we have now. So, yeah. Um, anyway, question of the day, question of the video. Um, curious what you guys are bringing to the table for a Series 10. What are you thinking? What are you doing? Um, stuff like that. We do have, I, I'm, I'm going to have a video coming out really soon. Hopefully tomorrow, maybe the next day, maybe the next day, maybe the next day, maybe the next day. You know, YouTuber, typical YouTuber stuff. But um, we are going to be doing a video with, uh, you know, the first impressions of Series 10, kind of what we're expecting right off the bat of Series 10, a um, whole bunch of stuff like that. And it will be featuring a special guest, um, so that'll be cool. Stay tuned for that. Um, anyway, let's get into some games, right? Uh, you want to play some games? All right, we are in it. So we've got a Zacian team right off the bat. Um, crazy surprise, surprise, surprise. We see a Zacian team. So, what do we wanna? What do we want with this? Well, I do want to bring Top Moth, right? So, I think I'm gonna bring Top Moth on lead. Kyogre in the back. Uh, Kyogre does pretty good damage here um, across the board. I would really like to bring Lando, but I think Rillaboom is really essential here as we switch into a different Fake Out user, um, into an alternative Fake Out user. That way, we can Volcarona protect turn one, uh, switch the Hit on top into Rillaboom, not die, hopefully, um, and then that could be good now if they lead now i do actually have speed on the uh hitmon top which is really cool here because we might be able to outspeed some fake outs so i'm actually gonna play it like that i'm gonna bring lando and uh we're gonna hope that we can we can skamaz them with the speed now here's thunderous zapdos lead chill i won't intimidate you sir i will not be intimidating you right now chill maybe lando is the bad bring who knows maybe we got the bad ending i do want to fake out Zapdos has Defiant. This is probably... I feel like Prankster. I feel like Thunderous is going to be Prankster doing some weird stuff here. I want to... I'm got to be very careful with that. So, I think we want to fake out into the Zapdos slot. Uh, fake out the Zapdos slot. And just go for uh, just go for a Quiver Dance. And then we're just going to pop off Heat Waves. Heat, uh, heat Wave after Heat Wave. This next turn. Maybe we fake out the Thunderous? Well, Alright, we'll fake out Thunderous. And we'll go for a Quiver Dance. I want to get this set up really bad. I really do. Zapdos, attack the him on top. Keep my Volcarona alive. Hopefully, we're we're good here. Brave Bird. Okay, the Volcarona. We do have Sash, so we have that. Now, Thunderous could be a problem. Thunderous could be a huge problem here. So, what we're going to be doing here... Does Zapdos get Extreme Speed? Uh, extreme? Okay, no. All right. I'm going to say we're pretty safe. We can go... We could go Quick Guard. I think we want to just Quick Guard and hit a Heat Wave. I think that's the plan here. We're going to Quick Guard... Keep uh keep the uh the thunderous away, and we're gonna go for a heat wave. Thunderous did not faint, which is really really unfortunate. But the Volcarona here is still doing a lot of work. The quick guard is really 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 good here. Um, so he's not gonna bring out Zacian. I right, just quit. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, he was like, oh my goodness, the quick guard. <laughs> the quick guard was crazy. I made a really good call out there. Okay. Cool. So I mean that went well. <laughs> we didn't get a whole t uh we didn't get a whole battle, but that went well. Um, for what it was. Okay. So. What do we got here? We got Defiant Bird. 
instantly jumping out at me. That's cool. Uh, Tapu Fini keeping your boy safe, the Groudon. That's cool. Uh, Intimidate of his own. He's got a Raichu that seems kind of out of place, to be honest. Um, keeping the bird and the Finny alive makes sense. He doesn't want to get uh, attacked with the Regilecki. Regilecki would be a pretty optimal lead here if uh, that was the case. But yeah, I think we want to go with the top strat here, right? I'm kind of just like testing the top strats here. Um, top Ogre here seems crazy. Uh, seems insane. Actually seems so good. So we're going to go top Ogre here. Volcarona, you're going to sit on the back burner. I don't think you're doing enough this matchup. Um, you know, it's only really hitting the the Venusaur for a lot of damage and it's hitting Braviary, you know, Raichu for neutral damage, but that's not enough because it doesn't really hit the threat. So we're going to bring top Ogre. Um, Defiant Bird is a little bit of a problem. So I don't even really care to bring Rillaboom. Um, I'm, I'm just kidding. Rillaboom is a bring. It's a must bring here. It deals with the Finny. It deals with the uh, Groudon. Very, very good there. Lando is not the worst option. But it's not the best either. I think Regilecki is going to be our option here in the back. Just to deal with those Pokemon that, um, you know, the Rillaboom can't deal with. Uh, or, Rillaboom. Uh, that the Ogre can't deal with. So we're doing that. You know? We'll see if it works. So we got Top Ogre. Very standard stuff here. Raichu is fast. It is unfortunately going to be way too fast of a fake out user for Hitmon, uh, Hitmon Top to do anything with. So I want to protect, but I can't. So I'm going to switch. I think I switch into the Rillaboom. I, I don't think Incineroar makes that call out into the Hitmon top. We'll switch Rillaboom and we'll go for a Protect. Uh, it's a safe play. It's a very safe play. Um, let's see if the Raichu has Thunder. That would be crazy. Because uh, it does outspeed my Kyogre, which is going to be a, a, a bit of a problem. So he goes Fake Out and he goes Fake Out. Double Fake Out. Makes a lot of sense. That's uh, pretty much exactly what I was expecting. We do have to Fake Out. I'm going to Fake Out the Raichu this turn. Uh, because I don't really care, honestly, if the Incineroar kills the Rillaboom. It's not going to be that big of a deal. I do... Well, it's not going to kill it, period. We have rain. Um, so that's good. I don't think Wide Guard is on Raichu. I don't think that's that's the case. So I think we're going to go for a Water Spot and just do a lot of damage. He's going to have to switch. Uh, probably switches the Incineroar into, like, Tapu Fini or something. Uh, if I had to guess. But Water Spot will do... Oh, no switch. No switch. Oh, my goodness. All right. Water Spot's just killing. All right. Cool. Good start. <laughs> Kyogre is a dumb Pokemon. Kyogre is a stupid Pokemon. And he quit. Okay, cool. Um, fair enough. Can we get a more than one turn? Uh, I guess the first game had two turns. I guess the first game did have two turns. Okay, so we've got... Uh, wow, Shiftry. Um, just chilling. No sun. What is... Uh, cool. I'm interested. I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, we do see Moth once again. No redirection though. So Moth is probably not... It, and actually no fake out. Shiftery? Does Shiftery get fake out? I don't think it does. I feel like it doesn't. Shiftery. Fake out? Oh, it does. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So he does have a fake out user. Um, it's not that fast, though. 80 speed worth 70 speed with investment. He's probably max speed. Top Ogre could be good here. Top Ogre could be good. Top Moth seems better. Top Moth on lead. We go for a fake out. Volcarona. Swish into boom. Okay. So we're bringing Top Moth on lead. Kyogre in the back and Rillaboom in the back. I think that's what we're going for. Um, now we could go for like a top late game play. Um, but we're just going to be clicking. We're just going to be clicking what we're doing right now. Because it's, you know. Uh, like I said, early game testing. We're just early uh, testing. It's been a while since I've seen top strats like this. So... Um, yeah, we're going to go for this, uh, which is good. So Tornadus is going to be a problem. It's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, I do want to fake out. I guess we'll fake out the Tornadus because the Shiftry is going to fake out the Volcarona. And we'll just go for a Protect. Tornadus probably goes for a Protect as well. Um, but if not, then we're just mimicking our turns. So let's do that. Unless he fake outs the Hibon top to get the Tailwind up. And then in which case, what a call out. I am going to protect um, this turn. So he goes for a protect. I go for a protect. He goes for a fake out into Volcarona, probably. I go for a fake out into the Tornadus. Okay, cool. We got our fake outs out of the way. Now, I should have switched. I could have switched Hitmon top out for Rillaboom, and then I'd be in an amazing position right now. Like, truly an amazing position. So, hmm. If he goes for a Tailwind, Quick Guard is not going to do anything. I think we just switch. Uh, honestly, dude, Kyogre seems kind of crazy here. All right, switch to the Kyogre. And... We could Quiver Dance. We could Quiver Dance this turn. I think Shiftry is probably going to punch the Volcarona, though. He might double. He might double it. So I could just go for a Heat Wave. 
outspeed the shift tree. All right, we're doing that. We're going for it's a bit of a call out, but I think this is how we have to play it right now. Tailwind the shift tree. Um, oh wow, no damage because the rain. Oh, an idiot. Oh, an idiot. What am I? What am I? An idiot. Fortunately, we didn't go for the quiver dance though. Um, so this actually worked out amazingly in my favor. We're gonna go for a water spout and a fake out into the shift tree. Um, so water spout and fake out the shift tree. The whirlwind was not uh, the play, but uh, it's okay. We take out. We should sh take out shift tree here. Um, with this water spout should should be enough. Yeah It's frail that guy's frail. I'm pretty sure that Jiraiya is pretty frail. Okay, so we've got he, he's got his own Kyogre now um, Which could be a problem. He could go for a thunder. Uh, so I think I want to protect and Switch out here into the Rillaboom uh, Tornadus targeting down the hit on top slot could be a bit of a problem uh, Could go into Volcarona. I think that's what we do or I could just get ballsy and just go for a water spout into both do big damage on the Kyogre and take out Tornadus. I have to take out Tornadus. I have to take out Tornadus. And we'll just, uh, I guess we'll get some chip on Kyogre because we don't need this anymore. Yeah, we don't need it anymore. We're going to mock punch the Kyogre. We got to get some chip. Um, so water, uh, water spell will take, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, that's a really bad play. We're going to ice beam the Tornadus and we're going to go mock punch into the Kyogre. A uh, little, all right, good chip on Kyogre. Very, very good chip on Kyogre. Okay, Hurricanes, uh, if we live this Thunder, okay, he's scalded. We're good. Um, we're okay. He did get a burn, which is a little unfortunate, but not a big deal. We do take out Tornadus, which means our Rillaboom is um, just safe for the for the clearing here. That's what we're going to do. What's his last Pokemon going to be? Amoongus. Rillaboom gets right through it. All right, it's Thunderous. It's fine. We Grassy Glide the Kyogre. It has to have Protect. It went for a Scald, so it could definitely have Protect. Thunderous is going to go for the attack on the Rillaboom. Um... So we're going to make another call. We're going to Ice Beam the Thunderous and go for a Protect because the Thunderous is going to attack the Rillaboom and Kyogre is going to Protect. That's what we're going to make this call out. Now, if it does turn out to be Choice Scarf and it just attacks the uh, with a Scald again this turn, then we're in the clear. We are in a great, great position. So we Protect the Rillaboom here. It goes for an Ice Beam, so it's not going to be... Uh, oh, 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 good play. Good play by my opponent, man. Good play. Kyogre does not die to the burn, thankfully. Um, grassy Terrain is keeping us together. Um, what do I want to do here? Ah, oh, this is a, that was a really, really intelligent play by my opponent. He, uh, saw that the Rillaboom was going to go for the Protect because I was scared. Kyogre's going to go for Protect this turn, potentially. We can go for an Origin Pulse that'll take out the Thunderous and do more Chip. Uh, I think that's what I want to go for here. Thunderbolted. We could Protect, but that's not really going to give us anything. I don't mind Kyogre dying at this point. Are we going to go for an Origin Pulse? And we're going to go Grassy Glide into the Kyogre. Um, okay, so you didn't make the call out, so this should be just a dub for me, no matter what happens with the Thunderous. Um, but yeah, the Origin Pulse, it hits, so we got the dub. So, that's pretty good. Um, that was a full game. I'm glad we got a full game, finally. Alright, that was a good game. Uh, that was cool. Alright, we'll play one more game. Uh, win or lose. Um, we'll get it. We've got another Kyogre team. A lot of people are playing Kyogre. It's either the most used restricted or the second used most uh, restricted, right behind, um, Zacian. So let's see what, what do we want to do here. So Incineroar, Tornadus, Serena is interesting. Um, Urshifu is a pain. Regilecki, Kyogre. So he has a very anti Kyogre team. I'm not going to lie. Kyogre does not really want to be here. But I'm going to bring it in the back. Top Moth looks not that bad here. Um, I think, like, oh, it's not good enough. It can't deal with this guy. All right, I think we're not going with a top strat right off the bat. I think we're going to go Regilecki. Here, Regilecki in the uh, in the front. I definitely want Regilecki in the front. Regilecki, Kyogre on lead. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I think Lando is good, but only good. We bring Rillaboom 100%. And what's our last spring here? So what do we have to deal with? Regilecki is a bit of a problem for what we have currently. Lando would deal with that. But we could also have Rock Slide, which is pretty good for, you know, a bit, of, a bit more of the team. We don't outspeed the Urshifu. I really wish I had something that outsped Urshifu. We're on the same speed tier as Urshifu with, with Volcarona, I believe. We could bring him on top. Mach Punch could close it out. If it's dark, it'll close it out really easily. All right, we're bringing top in the back. This is going to be the plan. So we have Kyogre Tornadus in the lead. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon greasy. So what do we want to go for? I should have led Fake Out. I should have led Regilecki and Fake Out user. Wow, that's bad of me. I think we go protect and just attack. No, we switch. Regilecki will die. Whatever I switch into, Regilecki, it dies. Okay, we'll switch into Rillaboom. 
because that's good. Water Spout will do a lot of damage. Kyogre will do a lot of damage to it as well. Ice Beam, the Tornadus, but we're not going to take it out. Ice Beam, Tornadus. Water Spout. Ice Beam, Water Spout. We're going to go Water Spout. This is a bit of a call out. Not a good one, though. <laughs> Tailwind, Water Spout. Whoa, crazy. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed that one? Not me. Water Spout. Takes out Tornadus. It's not banded. Interesting. All right, Sash. It's not Sash. That's interesting. All right, so what do we see? What do we see? What do you got for me, dog? Serena. All right, that's a little annoying. Um, we do have Protect still option for Kyogre, so that's definitely what we're going to go for. It, it, does Serena get Fake Out? Serena. I think it gets Fake Out, right? I don't know. But it's, uh, its ability doesn't let Fake Out. Okay, so we can't Fake Out. That's rough. Um, we can't Grassy Glide. That's really rough. Okay, that's cool. That's... um. Really good, dude. We need something for Zarina. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Rillaboom Protect. I'll just Ice Beam the Zarina. If it dies, it dies. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Kyogre is a little bulky, though. He goes U-turn into the Rillaboom. Wow. What a call out. It wasn't even a call out. I just played correctly. And that's it. Okay, Zarina. Let's go for a knockoff into the Zarina and protect uh, the Kyogre. I think Rillaboom lives a Regilecki attack. If Zarina U-turns, then it is what it is. I think that's fine. I think Rillaboom lives. No, Rillaboom dies to that. It's all right. I think we protect still. All right. Regilecki goes for a protect as well. I go for a protect. Let's see the U-turn. It does go for the U-turn. Takes it out. Okay. Fair enough. Um, what do you bring out? Kyogre? Yeah, Kyogre's back. Okay. Uh, Rillaboom's gone, and he doesn't have Zarina um, out, so that's really bad. We can bring out our own Regilecki. So let's turn one turn of Tailwind. No, it ends. I think we just dual protect. Can't protect Kyogre. All right. We protect and switch. The good old protect and switch. If we can get rid of this tailwind, we need the tailwind gone. All right, we'll switch. Kyogre will do a lot of damage here. Uh, hit him on top dies. That's okay. Miss. Okay, no miss. That's fine. Hit him on top goes down. That's really rough, but it is what it is. Bring out Ogre. This is bad for me. Very bad for me. Okay, I'm not max speed Regilecki. Yikes, this might be really bad. All right, we'll go for an Electro Web. This only makes sense. Uh, we'll go Electro Web and Protect. It only makes sense. Um, Regilecki, if it wins the speed tie, we lose if, if we don't hit this Protect. So, um, go for an Electro Web. Ah, yikes, dude. I made the wrong call out. And we missed the... Oh, oh my gosh. All right, cool. All right, well, that, the miss was unfortunate. Yeah, that sucks. You know, we just Origin Pulse. Hope the... I mean, I know Regilecki won't kill me because I'm bulky. Uh, Origin Pulse, not going to do that much. Our Origin Pulse will do not that much. Didn't even take this arena out. Yeah, it's that's a GG. That's a GG, but that's okay. Origin Pulse, we might have more speed than this arena. It's probably max speed, though. It actually, Origin Pulse is in misses. U-turns, actually, which is interesting. What's his last Pokemon with the Regilecki? I don't think we take it out. Not with Rain. Oh, we do take it out. Oh, this maybe this is winnable. Maybe this is still winnable. Wow, he quit. All right, I definitely thought you had this one. You have Zarina. Did you not have a, a water or a grass attack? Because I'm not taking it out. Wait, how much? It only had 7 HP left. Did we outspeed it? It outsped me. It outsped my my Kyogre. All right, well, that was a, that was a bad quit. That player definitely could have won that game. Oh, well. Uh, oh, well. All right, well, that's going to conclude today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It makes a huge difference. Like, less than 30% of people are subscribed to me. So please do it, 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 please do it. Anyway, have a good week. If you want to see more Series 10 content, put it down in the description down below uh, or in the comments down below. Anyway, have a good week and goodbye.